If you don't write something conversational, try putting in the voice or accent you want in five areas that don't have the level of formality you're looking for. If you're writing content for another website or blog, including expert content in your article is a win-win situation for you. The expert, your audience, and the website you're writing for. When it comes to creating surprising and valuable content for your audience and website visitors, it is always important to explore your options by consulting and integrating content from other experts in your industry or niche. Another way to practice making headlines is to find an ad that addresses a product for you. Imagine the title if it were addressed to a different audience and write it. Don't let style trump content. We all need to give our copy some personality, but don't let it be too stylized to make your audience lose interest. A good way to practice headlines is to find a topic, an idea for a story or an online ad and write the corresponding headlines and try to write a better headline than the one you already have. Headlines are incredibly important. If you don't address what your readers want to see, they won't click on the link. However, as this Business Insider article tells us, not all media and news are viewed the same way so make sure your references and sources match your audience. Here are 7 tips to help you quickly develop your writing and editing skills. What matters is how well the article is read, its value to the audience and its validity. If you don't already work with clients, find someone you trust to give you honest advice and ask them to help you a few times a week. Zach Johnson shows you 7 ways to improve your writing and your writing. According to Digital Donut, only 2 out of 10 people will read the text after reading the title. So the title better be good and promise what they want. 